This one we're checking in, baby. Oh. Never one? been here. Nope, never been. We're gonna enjoy the fountain as we wait. We're like, we checked in, but so there's no telling how long we'll have to wait before we're seated. Very noisy in here. <laughs> when you're on the dining plan, you get to choose between the French onion soup, a salad, or lobster bisque and then you get to choose a entree and then a dessert and then of course your drink or you can choose one item off this side and a dessert so they give you a, a little bit of a choice y'all can see that but that's paintings on the ceiling or actually somebody painted it's not an actual painting so. in, in, in deference to my sweet water I uh, certainly considered ordering the grilled tender wine and having a nice little glass of red wine with that time. I went with the uh, salmon and uh, the French onion soup really is that's all. She brought us bagged bread. Uh -huh. um, actually, she forgot the butter. She's going to come back and bring us some butter. These are actually pretty big bowls of French onion soup. So, smells great. Tom and I both got the salmon with asparagus and rice. And we have a situation. Well, Tom doesn't have a situation. I do. I completely filled up with the soup. I am like already totally full. <laughs> we have an issue. Alright, dessert choices. Chocolate layer cake with chocolate mousse, chocolate sauce, mint chocolate ice cream. A swan cream puff filled with chocolate mousse and chocolate ice cream. Apple tart with almond cream, caramel sauce, vanilla ice cream. Ooh, you can get fresh berries, vanilla cream, raspberry sauce, and strawberry sorbet. And a cream brulee. And a daily assortment of fresh sorbet. And they are all $9.75 out of pocket. Alright, you gotta turn that around. Turn it around. So he got some type, oh my god. Okay, we're gonna have to get a picture of that too. He got some type of mousse cream puff with chocolate ice cream. And I got the apple tart with the caramel sauce and vanilla ice cream. This meal would have been $40 basically each, um, plus the drink. Yeah, so just under $100 for the meal of two. So, our review of what are we reviewing? Uh, what are we the French eat? restaurant. Oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> You'll notice that we're in different clothes because it's actually the next day. So, in a different park. Yeah, in a different park because we really got tired. So, we're in this like dark alley at Magic Kingdom. Yeah, I'm sure where we are. <laughs> and we're back. Basically, we're near where Pete, you would meet Peter Pan. Somewhere near there. So, first off, we didn't have to wait long. Like five no, minutes bad. Bad. and from our reservation time and we were in. First thing I noticed is the restaurant looked very nice. The surroundings, they made it, made it look authentic. However, the first thing I noticed was how loud it was. I was really shocked it was that loud and that the tables were that close together. They really crammed you in. So with the dining plan, as you noticed, um, you got a lot, so that was good. Yeah. The French onion soup was the best I have ever had. And Definitely. I have to disagree somewhat on that. I enjoyed it. The the cheese, the how do you pronounce that? Gruyere, something it, like that. Awesome cheese. Anyway, the cheese tasted really good, but it wasn't as hot as I would have liked it, and it wasn't as melted over the side of the crock. But it, it gave you a lot and it had good flavor. Um, just the temperature is really my my primary 
and I disagree. I liked it not that hot because I could definitely eat it all right then and there. So I didn't have to worry about, you know, blowing on the spoon or whatever. So I like uh, that. I, I like gooey, stringy cheese, and this cut way too easy. Um, the bread was just your typical French bread, no big deal. Our waitress never brought our butter. That yeah, she that was said. disappointing. Yeah, the baguette was kind of nice, but it was, yeah. <laughs> Uh, we both got the salmon. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, as you heard in the vlog, I was totally full from the soap. Soap. <laughs> the soup. <laughs> yeah, well, when you eat soap like that, it really the soap fills affects you up, your people. appetite. You really shouldn't eat soap for an appetizer. No, no. <laughs> the sauce that came with the salmon, I was not a fan of. I actually had to move my salmon on top of the rice and only eat the rice and salmon that didn't have the sauce on it. It just, I don't know what kind of sauce it was. It just wasn't to my It was a white, palate. creamy sauce, um, you know, probably wine and cream based or something yeah. like that, which I thought complemented the salmon really nicely. And I, that's one of the more enjoyable main courses yeah. I've had here. And maybe it's because um, I don't like wine. And but once, once I put the asparagus on her plate, I mean, everything else was really awesome. With, with the fish, it wasn't overcooked. It uh, the rice was flavorful and didn't have a lot of extraneous mushrooms or anything in it. And uh, the, the rice and salmon were great. The asparagus, yeah. unfortunately, I love, but I did not like theirs. It was very gooey and soft, and it was very bitter. So it was not a fan. I one bite mm -hmm. of the asparagus and I was yeah. done. So, if I were to go back again, I would be perfectly happy with the salmon, but I might go off the three course meal thing and go to like their, um, oh, their steak. What was that thing? It was a tenderloin. There we go. Um, a grilled tenderloin and pair it up with uh, one of their suggested wines there. I think if you even go there on a dining plan, um, to really kind of round out the experience, give some consideration to a glass of wine with your meal. Um, I would have loved to have had one with the fish. I think that would have been really nice. I did have a glass of uh, cognac with my dessert, which I uh, also enjoyed. I had the fluffy swan chocolatey thing, and uh, that was really enjoyable. The apple tart was really good, the caramel sauce. I don't think because I don't eat red meat or pork, there wasn't a lot of options for me to eat. So because of the sauce on the salmon, I don't think I would eat there again, except for just to go get the soup. So I would pay out of pocket, maybe go make a lunch reservation and just eat the soup and I would be completely satisfied and full. And again, I, I would probably pick other places just because the tables were so close together and it, it was loud, but it was definitely it was fun. marked glad, it off glad we list. did it. Mm. Yep, and you know, it's, it's, it's worth spending a, uh, uh, what do you call it, sit down dinner thing. Yeah, one of your table services. One of your table services at, yeah, worth doing. So, that is our review, and tonight we have a, another table service that we haven't experienced, so stay tuned to see what that is.